I am Anil Kumar Khandelwal. Welcome to my book, Rediscover Algebra and Trigonometry. We'll begin with simple trigonometric identities. Use them further to solve some very complicated questions, and also proving level two and level three trigonometric identities. So, in this video, we'll take up sine x equals to tan x over square root of 1 plus tan squared x. How do we prove it? Let's try to understand this strategy. So let's begin with the left side, which is given to us as sine x. Now, if you look at it, we need 1 plus tan squared x square root, right? So what can we do about it? Well, think about it like uh, we could have sine x over 1, right? Okay, now sine x over 1, we could write as sine x over. Now, 1 is like sine square x plus cos square x, right? Right, so we could write also write this as cos square x plus sine square x. Okay, great. I wrote it as cos square x plus sine square x, mainly because we have 1 plus tan square x, okay? Now, we want tan x on the numerator and square root term. So, why not do square root of 1 in the denominator? That is also 1, right? So, that is also 1. So, we'll do square root of 1. You see how we develop a strategy to prove identities. That makes sense. And now, what are we going to do? As you can see, we can divide by cos x, right? So, so sin x divide by cos. We get tan x, correct? When it gets into the square root, it becomes cos square x. So let me rewrite this as cos square x plus sine square x. And we are dividing by cos x. Means within the square root, it will be cos square x. Is that clear to you? So dividing by cos x means within the square root, cos square x, right? So now what do you get? Sine x over cos x is tan x. And the numerator, cos square x, cos square x is 1, they cancel away, and sine over cos is tan. So we get tan square x. You see how moving from left side to right side with simple strategy, and that was dividing by square root of 1. And what is 1? 1 is cos square x plus sine square x. And then dividing both numerator and denominator by cos x to get the result. I hope it makes sense. Well, easier way could have been to start with the right hand side. And then easily you could have got to sine x. However, I wanted to teach you a very simple and important strategy. That is, we could multiply and divide by 1. We could multiply and divide by 1 square. We can also multiply and divide by 1 square root. That is what we have learned in this particular video and that is going to help us solve very difficult trigonometric identities in future. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com if you want to learn directly from me and also check the status of the book. Thank you and all the best.